Siju Thomas. Uh, I am a creature designer and sculptor, and I've been working in the computer graphics industry for about uh, 27 years. I moved from being a studio uh, creative director to an independent artist uh, something about eight years ago. I'm a long-term user of uh, the Wacom Cintiq product. I started using a Cintiq in 2007 when I was working for Virgin Comics, and I did my first comic on uh, the Wacom Cintiq and I fell in love with the product, so I bought one for myself. And ever since, I've been using a Cintiq. For example, this is a Shiva that I did for uh, a temple in Nepal. And this was entirely done in uh, uh, on a Wacom Cintiq and ZBrush. And uh, uh, the sculpture was uh, fabricated in Mathura in India. And then it was carried to uh, Pokhara, Nepal. And it sits roughly about uh, 400 kilometers from the Himalayas. And uh, this is another sculpture of Shiva, uh, which I've done for a temple in Aligarh. This is still in fabrication phase. It has not yet been installed. But again, pretty much like all my other work, these are all done on the Cintiq. The Cintiq 27 Pro uh, comes with 4K HDR. For video, it, is, uh, it kind of uh, increases uh, the depth and palette of your color to a huge level. This just is not possible with uh, the older displays which are uh, standard definition. As you can see here, uh, each and every little speck and, and detail and uh, the mixing of the colors, uh, the gradients, this kind of uh, stuff is impossible on uh, a standard definition monitor. And uh, this allows people who are working in film, uh, color grading, this could double for a professional monitor because uh, it, it has pretty much uh, the entire color gamut that, uh, that is required to do even film mastering. This was a personal project of mine. I used to work on an Intuos before, but ever since I started using a Cintiq in uh, 2007, I have not looked back. Uh, it's always uh, the next Cintiq for me. And uh, for me, the reason boils down to uh, you're drawing on a display tablet, you're drawing here, and then uh, the drawing or the, the sculpture appears on your screen up here. So you look down, uh, you know, you can look up and you can draw, but still uh, the stuff that you're doing is not on the surface, it's, it's somewhere else. And so that makes uh, the process once removed. There is, there is a small generation gap between what you're doing here and what appears on screen. Whereas if you're working with a display tablet, something like the Cinti 27, which has almost zero parallax, it's almost literally like you're, you're drawing on the paper or sculpting on the surface. So there is absolutely no generation loss. And we're going to have a small gaming session in 120 FPS. This game is Destiny and I've been playing this for a long, long time. I can tell you that uh, it's never looked better than on the screen. Look at the smoothness of uh, the aircraft flying by. There are no jaggies, there are no uh, anti-aliasing artifacts, so smooth as butter. And uh, as you will see, uh, the gameplay is even better. So in conclusion, uh, the Wacom Cintiq Pro 27 is a wonderful product and uh, uh, it's great uh, for art, an artist who is doing comics or is into computer graphics, sculpting and uh, it's great for people who are doing video work, HDR grading, film work and uh, it's great for gamers. <laughs>